Hey everybody, Kevin Vistason here, host of the Deer Hunter Podcast, and we really haven't used our YouTube platform. We've been putting our podcast out for almost a decade now and never really produced much content for this platform, and we're going to try to change that moving forward and have some deer hunts from some of our friends and some other you know, things that we filmed over the years getting put here. So <clears throat> introduce you to my friend Nick Polano. He uh, had a great deer hunt last year. We're going to be featuring it as one of our first things here moving forward. But uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. Uh, we're going to, like I said, try to be a little bit more regular here and getting some good deer hunting, bow hunting, deer camp, outdoor content, hopefully for many years to come. So we just are walking out from a morning hunt. We had a beautiful, we're at deer camp right now. Couldn't be better. We just jumped a deer up. We've seen a couple bucks, some chasing does. Uh, I'm excited about deer season and this should get all of you a little bit more. That's uh, what we're anticipating. Good luck in the tree stand or in the saddle or in the ground blind, whatever you choose here for this deer hunting season. Good morning. Today is October 7th. It's a Saturday here. I am about to head up to my property. Um, up north, about a two hour drive. It's 3.30 in the morning here, so I like to get there by 5.30. Uh, it's been drizzling most of the night. Um, should help me get into my stand quietly, um, but it'll help the deer move quietly through the woods as well. So um, it's gonna drizzle, I think, midday, but this is actually the first cold front of fall for us. So it's been in the 70s and even low 80s uh, since the beginning of fall here in Michigan. So. Today it's got a high of 49 degrees and it's going to be a little wet. It's been wet the later part of the week coming into the weekend, um, but it's going to uh, rain a little bit midday. But for the most part, while I'm in the woods, uh, I don't think I'll get too wet. So hopefully the deer are on their feet while I'm out there. Uh, I've got a couple of stands in mind based on the wind, looking at a west to northwest or west northwest wind. Uh, pretty light, I think. Uh, high of seven miles an hour ish so got some entries and exits planned um, uh, and uh, with that I think we're gonna have a pretty good day today if not then at least we're in a stand so I'll see you in the stand we have become conscious that we will never decrease efforts towards attempting to be better we understand that if we aren't growing we are dying we simply refuse to accept status quo we will continue to gain education through experience and when we kill that buck of a lifetime, there will have been nothing accidental about it. Be surgical. We are in the stand. It's about nine o'clock this morning. Uh, the rain has held off, but the forecast keeps changing. Every time I look at it, it says rain in a few minutes. It's pretty chilly. It's 42. It's actually staying colder than it was supposed to. Uh, I had a doe with two fawns come through maybe 45 minutes ago. Uh, came right under the stand. Went around this bowl that I'm sitting on the edge of and uh, headed into the hardwoods. Probably gonna go bed down in there for the afternoon. Um, hopefully the bucks are on their feet, but I'm not sure, we'll find out.
cards out. Right, right under those cedars there. He's upwind from me. I'm not sure what he's gonna do when he stands back up. I have a gap at 40 yards. If he goes one direction, if he goes the other direction. He's either gonna be gone or he's coming in. It's about 9.30. I'm gonna play this one by ear. All right, it is noon on October 7th. At about 9.15, I had a really nice eight point come in and bed down at 40 yards. He's still there. I plan on getting down and having lunch and reassessing, but he's been here for almost three hours, bedded down at 40 yards. He was facing me and he's directly upwind, so he has no chance of smelling me, but he can see. I don't have a shot. He stood up about an hour ago, stretched, did a 360, laid back down, but he's angling a little more south now, and the wind's coming out of the west. I'm hoping I get him when he stands up. He's gonna do probably one of three things. He's gonna go back the way he came from. If he does, I might have a 40 yard shot, but it'll only be for a small, small window. Two is he walks off the direction he was heading when he got here. And I don't have any shots, he's gone. Or three, there is a trail that comes down and can split in either direction around me, which will bring him sub 20. So I'm hoping option three, but I have no idea. I wish I brought my lunch out here with me now, but I'm not gonna complain because this is pretty cool. I got a little bit of footage of him, but my main camera's dying. Um, if that camera battery dies, there's no way I can use my phone. I don't have any kind of mount or anything, so hopefully I can get this all on film when something happens, but there's a chance that I won't. So either way, hope you're in the woods. It's October 7th. It's rock and roll. All right, hey everybody. Um, I guess I'll get right to it. Obviously I didn't catch the, uh, the shot on film. Kind of called it in my uh, interview I was giving it to the camera right about noonish. Kind of thought my battery on my main camera was gonna die. I was waiting for this guy to stand up to make a move. Um, as soon as he stood up, it was 1236. He stood up, I turned my main camera on, got the flashing red lights, shot right back off. Cold weather really kind of depletes those batteries quick. Uh, so I decided to proceed anyway. Obviously there's nothing I could do from a camera side. Um, so he actually took option one that I was talking about in the interview. He stood up, he took a couple steps right into uh, my opening. And the opening I had was pretty small and it was at 20 yards. So he was 40 yards from me. The opening in a couple of cedar hemlocks, I mean, the opening in the couple of hemlocks was pretty small, but it was at 20 yards. So I had to shoot through that hole to hit him. In all, it was a pretty awesome first hunt of the year for me, October 7th. I was in the woods for, I guess, just over six hours. It's about 9.15 is when he strolled in. He decided to bed down right near me. Um, obviously that canceled my lunch plans. I stuck it out as long as uh, he was willing to be there. So like I said, at 12.36, he stood up, took the 40 yard shot. Again, I apologize for the lack of film, but you know what? This is a memorable hunt for me. Um, this is a buck I have pictures of last year. Um, actually on October 2nd, I passed on this buck last year. Um, it was him and two other eight points. There was a one-year-old, a two-year-old, and a three-year-old. All came by my stand last year at, um, he was the two-year-old at the time. Uh, very similar frame. He had this same sweep right here on his left side. All of his tips curled in just a little bit and he had short brows. 
Um, so he's really got the same frame as he had last year. Uh, the only difference is that he just took on a little mass, a little height, and a little width. So I could not be happier with this deer though. Um, it's really cool when you get the opportunity at a buck that you've seen before, or you've got some level of history with, especially when you made the conscious, conscious decision not to shoot him before. So uh, this is a really nice buck for the area, good representation for what the Central Michigan region has. Um, but they do get bigger, they do get older, as long as you let them. But for me, this is a buck that is uh, definitely satisfying. I'm very happy to have them. So um, that's all I have. Again, if you made it this far in the video, thank you. And I apologize for not really getting the full uh, shot and recovery on film. Um, once I knew the main camera was done, I really kind of rode off filming and realized I should probably close this out if I want to make a video. So. Good luck to you guys in the rest of your season. It's still early. Um, got another buck tag, I got a doe tag. Once I fill that other doe tag, if I do, I'll probably get another one. So um, hopefully I can make some more videos and get better, better with the video content anyhow. So um, once again, have a good rest of your season. Stay safe and cheers. Do you drink beers in a garage? That's exactly why the garage bar was invented. Unfolds in seconds, ready to go. Pull your wood out and enjoy a cold one.